Hello and welcome to Nature Magnified. For those of you who have been following my macro videos, you'd know that I use my mobile phone uh, camera with a four times zoom, that is the digital zoom, to capture macro videos. As you can see here, you get very clear and very nice video with the four times digital zoom. But the problem with uh, macro photography is that because everything is zoomed in so much, even little shakes get amplified hugely. You can see in the videos here at four times zoom, uh, all the little shakes are severely amplified. And so I've been experimenting with solutions to reduce shake and one of the possibilities was to use a gimbal. I got myself a DJI Osmo Mobile 2. This is one of the best uh, mobile phone three axis stabilized gimbals on the market right now. And so let's use this and find out if it's actually helping in the case of macro videography. So the way you use this is that you fit the mobile phone onto the uh, gimbal and then you can control the phone using the gimbal's controls and it should stabilize the mobile phone along three axes and reduce any shake that's present. Although it's known to be very effective, the question was when there is such a great zoom, will it still work? So here's a clip uh, of a plant without the, uh, the gimbal. And you can see there is some amount of shake in the video. And now let's look at the same uh, plant with the DJI Osmo gimbal. And you can see here that there's definitely some amount of shake but the question is, is it actually reducing the shake? So here is a comparison of an ant with and without the gimbal. And you can see that there's definitely shake in both. But the question is whether the gimbal is actually better than without a gimbal. And that's hard to say by just looking at the videos. So let's take a look at some macro objects uh, here that I've shot using the gimbal. And you can see that there is definitely a lot of shake in this video. But the question is whether it's actually reduced when compared to not using a gimbal. Here's a very fast moving ant. And this is typically the scenario where th uh, a small tiny object is moving very fast. And I have to track the object and move my phone along haphazard parts. So it's not uh, too much of a shake compared to the speed of the ant and how I'm tracking it. But is it any better than not using a, a, a gimbal? And here's a slower ant and you can see that there's again definitely a lot of sh shake but it's hard to say whether the gimbal is helping. And so to know exactly which one is better, I took two clips of a single object at the same distance, one with the gimbal and one without the gimbal, and put it into a software called Nuke, and then asked it to track a single point on the object. This is a leaf of the plant, and uh, it tracks it over the entire sequence frame by frame and charts out the path of the point as it moves across the frames. The yellow line that you see being formed as the frames move is the path of this point that I've asked it to track. So eventually you will get a long and winding path uh, across all frames and you will be able to distinguish how much of deviation from the start that 
the particular point has moved since the beginning of uh, the video recording and as you can see here there definitely seems to be less movement away from the start of the recording in the case of no gimbal versus the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 and here again an ant that I've tracked similarly and you can see the videos here and it's hard to say which one has more shake when you compare it visually but then if you track it using the software you can see the paths that have been charted out and again without the gimbal seems to be a tighter path except towards the end compared to using the gimbal in which there seems to be much more of movement and so this is quite shocking because there doesn't seem to be any help in stabilizing macro videos from the uh, gimbal and on the contrary it seems to actually increase the shake more when you are highly magnified or highly zoomed in so for those of you who are thinking of buying a gimbal for macro photography I would say forget it that's all from me for now please do like the video and subscribe and stay tuned I'll be doing more experiments and hope to return with more videos thank you